The average home price is now over $400,000 in the U.S., making the average mortgage payment right over $3,000 a month. So today's topic is going to be this tweet, and we're going to be talking about if we think this is sustainable, in my opinion. In states like Florida, I don't believe this is sustainable, but Kirby, what do you think on this? All right. When they say at three thousand dollars a month, is that including like escrow payments? That's including taxes and insurance. So this tweet says that does not include taxes or insurance. Um, so, <laughs> all right. Let me, let me package this. So yeah. let's just let's just throw taxes and insurance because most people pay uh, pay their mortgage and they include the taxes and insurance. Um, so let's just add. And I'm just going just with rough numbers here in Florida. Hold on, let me dim these lights in here. Sorry if it gets darker. The light's coming through in a big way. All right. So let's uh let's look at it a different way. So we add the we add the property tax and insurance. Uh we're not going to give it, we're going to use property taxes from another state. So just add 600 to that. Well, not 600 a month. We're going to add property taxes. Let's just say that's another 250 a month. And then we'll go another 250 a month. So another five, so another 500 a month. So that's what, about $3,500 a month? 35, 36, yeah. All right, so 35, so 3,500 a month. All right, so thirty five hundred a month. Good God. So, I'm just thinking thirty five times twelve is what you went to about third, thirty eight hundred two thousand thirty eight thousand a year. Huh? I think forty two thousand a year. Forty two thousand a year. So people understand that that's just the mortgage payment. You need forty two thousand dollars a year just for the mortgage payment. Now I know a lot of people walking, looking around, like, wait, I only make forty-two thousand dollars in a year. I don't, you know, that's. Uh, so you got I mean, the, the crazy. Go ahead. You'd have to make like a hundred and seventy thousand for it to be reasonable. Right, and and that's why because of the interest rates and things like that, that. Right now, it's a better time to rent than it is to buy. And I'm not saying it's a better time to rent because I'm talking about book because I own rental properties, but I'm saying statistically due to numbers. So if the average mortgage payment is $3,500 a month, and in most places in the United States, most places, I'm not, I'm gonna stay away from the the Carolina, I mean, the New York's, the California's, the Hawaii's, but most places in the continental United States, for two thousand a month, you could find something. You could find a place to live, rent wise. So that's already fifteen hundred dollars less. So, and if you're using that model of you need thirty, you said what forty two hundred dollars, forty two thousand dollars a year, forty two thousand dollars a year. Like you said, you would need you need about a hundred, a hundred and ten, hundred twenty thousand dollars in salary. Maybe, you know, 60,000 per person living together, married, can make that happen. But a single person, you know, at a $70,000 a year job, no mas, you can't do it. But but now, I mean, it's crazy. I, I look at properties and people are still doing it. They're putting properties up on the market for sale. And it's just, you know, six, 7% interest rate, especially for investors. And then... They're saying they're cash flow positive rentals. Yeah, it's cash flow positive rentals for the person who's selling it, but it wouldn't be for the person who's buying it. And then I'm also seeing people that's in an angst, you know, walking around, you know, different places, talking to different people. And you're hearing people saying, yeah, man, I really want to buy a house. And I'm like, do you understand the interest rate? So you're still paying, for the most part, you're still paying 20, 20, 20, 21 prices but now you got an interest rate that's double and sometimes triple what the interest rate was in that time frame. So it just ballooned up. And I always use this exercise, especially for people that's selling the house. Uh, I have a friend of mine that's selling the house 
And I asked them, I said, how much do you pay a month in mortgage? And then they said, oh, I pay, you know, $1,500 a month. And then I said, okay, now you're selling the house. And then you're selling it for X price. And then I was like, so would you buy this house? And you being in the house, you love in the house and all that. Would you buy this house if you had to pay $3,800 a month? They all looked at me, hell no, I'm not doing this. I wouldn't do that. And I'm like, just understand, that's what you're asking the next person to do. And they always look at me with a crazy face. I'm like, that's what you're asking the person to do. I'm not saying don't go get your money, but I'm just letting you know what you're doing in the holistic point of view of it. But yeah, it's 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 scary out there. I mean, it's scary out there for the people that's just so dead set, hammered on, hey, I need to buy a house right now. If you can hold out, if you can rent longer, if you can weather the storm, at least for one or two things to happen, prices to come down or the interest rate to come down, then I will weather that storm. I will rent, I will rent another year. I would stay at my minimum house for another year if that's what I had to do so I wouldn't have to be caught in this, you know, this cyclone of mixed information. That's why my background is, you know, everything's going along, going in different directions. But that's that's honestly what I would do. I would wait a little bit longer or I would do like we always talk about is negotiate my butt off to get the price way lower. So the monthly expense would be comparable to what it would be for renting a property. Right. Yeah, I've seen a lot of people trying to buy houses now. Um, a few of them can actually like and a few of them, they can afford it because of high incomes, but it's not the majority. And I've gotten some people ask me for some tips and stuff. And it's crazy because once I put in like the price of the house, the interest rate, the down payment that they want to put on like a mortgage calculator, the numbers are insane. Single mortgage over $3,000. So seeing this tweet, um, I, I already knew that this was kind of what was going on. And I can't fathom or imagine paying like $3,000 for a regular house per month. I mean, it's it's insane. I mean, and it, just putting it in perspective like that with like $42,000 a year, that just right there shows you like it, that that's more than most people's annual salary and people get taxed, too. So, you know, if someone makes 42,000, they're not even bringing home 42,000. They can't afford that. So it's yeah, it's crazy to see these prices. Now, I would say, I mean, maybe people could look for outdated properties outdated houses and stuff but we've and we did a video on that looking in remote locations that are more rural but still you know that's not ideal for everybody but this is just a regular house in america it's crazy so so i mean i know a lot of people saying forty two thousand dollars they probably haven't you know did the math on that i hurry up and did the math while you was doing that so what alex is saying At the bare minimum, after taxes, after taxes, you need to make $20.19 an hour just to pay $42,000. But remember, all your salary cannot go towards the mortgage. So you have to make, you know, one, uh, two fifths higher than that because the bank will only let you pay 0.36% of what your gross, gross salary is. So, 40, I mean, 20,000, I mean, excuse me, $20.19 per hour is what you need to make just to afford an average mortgage in the United States right now, if you're buying a house right now, 2023. So two-fifths of that, you have to make $50 an hour. Yeah, you have to make $50 an hour just to be able to afford it. $50 an hour just to afford it. So that means wife, husband making $25 an hour a piece, that'll get you there. But a single person, you need more. I mean, that's what the numbers look like. You know, men lie, women lie, numbers don't. You know, real estate agent can sit there and tell you, oh, it's a great time to buy. Know your numbers. It is a great time to buy if you want to negotiate. If the real estate agent is willing to take 
lowering commissions and willing to negotiate to get you the bare bones price. If you're willing to do, you know, maybe get a house that's less desirable and then you fix it up over time. Maybe if you can get some seller concessions, maybe you can get some seller financing, uh, something like that to get your interest rate lower. But the whole idea is to sit here and bank, 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 bank that the Federal Reserve is going to lower interest rates. So eventually one day you can afford it is a bad mathematical problem that you're trying to do to run a household. When you buy that house day one, you need to be able to afford the house. If you can't afford the house day one, then you're going to. I mean, some people might have to hire the tiger for about five, six months and say, I'm okay with just spending, paying the mortgage, paying the mortgage and living like I'm living. Most people want to upgrade this, do this, buy furniture, this, do this. And then next thing you know, once Pandora's box open, everything start falling apart and then you start lacking in other areas. So you have to be able to comfortably be able to afford that property day one. And the way that you do it, like I said, less desirable areas, be able to willing to negotiate, maybe some uh, buyer concessions or seller concessions. Sorry, um, you got to get some properties that maybe not be in a, in a less desirable area, or you might have to get the ugliest house in the best neighborhood. And you know, you know, look for distressed situations. But right now, according to this, and according to the mortgage rate, it looked like fifty dollars an hour is a new minimum wage. That's the new minimum wage if, the, if everything is going to stay uh, where it's at. That's, I mean, that's a scary concept, but that's where it's at. But Alex, you got anything to close it out? No, we'll close it out there. With all I mean to say, guys, if you like the video, hit the like button. Um, leave us a comment down below on this topic. Share this video, subscribe, and we'll see you guys in the next one.